Hey Capricorn, thanks for checking out your weekly forecast for October 25th through the 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you happen to stumble upon this video outside of the dates I mentioned, don't you worry, you found it when you were meant to. <laughs> All right, these are general readings, so you'll find those messages when you're meant to hear them. Take the messages that resonate, leave the ones that don't. We're going to go ahead and connect here and see what is coming up for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. One more shuffle. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay, that feels good. That feels that feels thoroughly shuffled to me. So let's get right on into it, Capricorn. First card coming up for you, my darlings, is... <gasps> it's you! Hi, Capricorn! Welcome to your reading. It's the devil. No, it's not the devil because we're not saying Capricorns are evil. Um, If you're watching these readings, you probably already know, right? You know that the, the devil card represents Capricorn uh, in the... Uh, like it is, it's associated with the astrological sign of Capricorn. So this is your major arcana card. This gives us a big old double whammy here in a lot of different ways. Um, the reason why Capricorn is represented by the devil is because the devil is representative of earthly things, of the physical realm, of the physical world, right? And you guys are like uber earth sign, your uber, you know, physical realm. So um, this is why you're associated with this, um, with, with, with this card. Uh, major arcana cards are going to come up when you're coming into a significant new chapter in your life. It's a significant turning point. There's going to be a big, important changes and shifts and the things that you're experiencing when it comes up. The things that you're experiencing are directly connected to experiences you came here to have, okay? And so uh, you're not going to fail as long as you keep moving forward, okay? that The only way you're going to fail is if, if you give up, if you stop. But as long as you're moving forward, your angels and guys are always going to be with you at these transitions. And they're going to be helping you because they're here to help you get these things done the things that you agreed to experience the things that you agreed to accomplish they're here to help you do that um now the reason why i say it's a double whammy <laughs> um is you guys are capricorn this is your major arcana card so for me in a reading when i'm reading for somebody and your major arcana card comes up it's telling me that this is a situation that you're like stepping into your ultimate power your true authentic self and your ultimate power. Um, everything that's happening right now is designed to you shaking off the labels, shaking off the conditioning, shaking off the programming, and coming out of it is like, this is who I am. On my true soul level, this is who I am. We're all kind of taught as, as we're growing up, like, oh, you know, Capricorn, you're too much this way, or you're not enough that way. And so we... we we learn to be a different way because we're told that we have to be another way. But when you're coming into your, um, your authentic self, you're shaking off all that conditioning and uh, you're coming into living your life unapologetically as who you are. And you're falling in love with yourself in a non-narcissistic kind of way, in a really healthy way. The things that you used to beat yourself up about that you saw as like character defects or weaknesses, you're seeing, no, actually, these are really positive tools that I have. These are actually really positive traits, depending on how I apply them. When I apply them productively, these are wonderful aspects. And so the things that you thought uh, were wrong with you, you're like, no, this is good stuff here. There's no need to get rid of this. There's no need to be embarrassed by this. And so it's like this, it's, it's this exception of like all of you, all sides of you, right? Uh, you, you, you're female and masculine. You're light and you're dark. Like everything is coming into balance. Uh, and, and you're coming into this confidence, uh, this unstoppable energy almost, okay? And so I'm always excited when I'm reading for somebody and their major arcana card comes up. Uh, traditionally speaking, this can also be negative ego. We're talking about this massive change, 
right? So the negative ego aspect is going to be even more extra for you guys in that way. Um, negative ego hates change. And the bigger the changes and the closer the changes, negative ego is going to come in really hard and start ripping into you and telling you to give up and telling you why you're not going to succeed and telling you why you're not good enough. So do me a favor, Capricorn. When you catch yourself having those thoughts, take a moment and remember that I said this and remind yourself, whoa, Amethyst said, right, that the negative ego comes in the loudest and the hardest just before the biggest breakthrough. So I must be really close. Something really big is about to happen. I'm right at the threshold. I'm right at the doorway. And negative ego is trying to freak me out. It's running out of time because it's almost here. So it's coming in hard. It's coming in fast to discourage me. Remind yourself of that. And you can pray. You can meditate. You can ask Archangel Jophiel to help you have more positive and more beautiful thoughts to help you see yourself and love yourself as heaven sees you and loves you, uh, to help you see others as heaven sees them and loves them. Uh, this can be a positive affirmation to incorporate. So that negative ego will come in hard, right? Sometimes this can be greed and addictions with the devil card, but the vibe I'm feeling for you guys is the negative ego coming in really hard because you're coming into a time of empowerment and you're coming into a time of like really big change and that scares negative ego. So I feel negative ego is going to try in and try to like mess, mess with you. But you got this Capricorn. You got this. Your next card coming up here, my darlings, is the seven of pentacles. And this is hard work paying off. And this could be one of the things that your negative ego is messing at you with. Like, how much longer, Capricorn? How long have we been doing this? And, you know, oh, okay, okay, you know, and this is barely where we're at right now, right? Capricorns, you guys can be very hard on yourselves. You know, I, I have, I have, uh, all my siblings are Capricorn. Um, I, I, I grew up around Capricorns. I have friends who are Capricorns. And I know that... When a Capricorn decides to do something, you guys push yourselves really hard. You guys don't rest. And, you know, like when you put your mind to something, you don't rest. And you don't make excuses for yourselves. And that can be a wonderful quality, right? But it can also work against you that you're, you're working yourself into the ground. And so Seven of Pentacles, you're feeling how hard you've been working. And you're like, where, where are the plants? Where are, where is the harvest, Right? Spirit is saying it's growing. You might not see the growth. It doesn't mean it's not happening beneath the surface. Before you know it, it's popping out. Or you keep looking at the tree and you're like, where's the fruit? Where's the fruit? Before you know it, it's popping out. So I feel the negative ego is coming in and trying to discourage you and telling you that, oh, just give up because negative ego is telling you it's been so long. Okay? Um, uh, If I know that... Uh, how can I say this? Okay, if I know that uh, we're in October, right? We think October, we think of pumpkins. If I know that that I'm I planted pumpkins and I'm waiting a long time for them to grow, right? And I get to about you know uh, the end of uh, the middle of September, and I'm like I'm so tired and sick of waiting for these pumpkins to grow. I'm over it. Nothing is happening, and I just I just give up. I just gave up right before the pumpkin season started, right? Before they came in. And so Spirit is saying the season is here. And negative ego is telling you, oh, you've waited so long trying to get you to give up like a, a day or two before the season starts or a day or two before the harvest appears. And so Spirit is saying, um, know and understand that if you're feeling really discouraged about time frames or how hard something has been or how much work you've devoted into something, this is definitely negative ego. Because the harvest is coming in and negative ego is trying to distract you and, and get you to walk away before you gather that harvest because negative ego is terrified of the way the harvest is going to change your life. Even when it's a good thing, negative ego hates change. So remind yourself of this, right? Seven of Pentacles says plant your seeds water them, tend to your field, but also leave them alone for a little bit and let nature do its thing, right? Let 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 uh, the laws of, of physics and 
uh, nature come in and do what it needs to do. We can't speed up those laws of nature. Also, um, we have to make room for spirit to come in and spirit to do its thing, right? It, I, I give this example. It's like if you came over um, to my place and we're, we're cooking dinner or something, and I'm like, oh, Capricorn, can you help me with this or can you help me with that? And any time you start doing it, I come over and I push you out of the way and I start doing it. It's like, how can you help me? I, I'm not I'm not stopping. I'm constantly moving. I'm getting into everything. I'm doing this thing. I'm doing nothing. Uh, I see you trying to do something. I come in and I start taking over. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't stand this. And you're going you're gonna to leave the kitchen because you're not going to be able to help. You're not going to be able to contribute in any way. And sometimes we do that with spirit. We're like, spirit, help me. But we don't give spirit room to do its thing. We're like pushing spirit out of the way and taking over and taking over. So plant your seeds, water them, tend to your field, and then just relax for a little bit and, and let nature take its course. Let spirit come in and do its thing. The next card coming up for you, Capricorn, ooh, is the Empress. Now we have another Major Arcana card. So Major Arcana cards coming in for me back to back in a reading are going to indicate that um, there's significant changes happening in a really short period of time. Again, these are energies that will be around you for a while, but when I have a bunch of major arcana cards together or they come in together, it tells me big things in a little bit of time. So we talked about the season being close. This is confirming that. We know that the changes are going to happen in a short period, just a little while longer. Now, the Empress can also be associated with feminine Libra and Taurus energies. Libra is the air aspect of the Empress and Taurus is the earth aspect of the Empress. And so if you have a Libra or Taurus placement, um, there can be big changes happening for you in that area of your life. Uh, big increases, big improvements, uh, progress in in the house or houses where you might have Taurus or Libra. Um, Empress can also be here uh, uh, like uh, very fertile energy, very fertile energy uh, in terms of creating. It doesn't have to be a literal baby, okay? Some of you maybe have been working for a really long time and overcoming issues and things because you've been wanting to be a parent you've been wanting to heal either spiritually or physically or uh, heal from addictions or whatever it might have been and so that is in the card so that some of you are reaching that like now is the time for parenthood or, or like your hard work is paying off and you're establishing a family or um, you're stepping into that maternal energy or you're manifesting uh, the type of person that you would like to have children with or that you would like to be the mother of your child. Um, that There can be a very literal sense in like that way. But the Empress can also just be creativity and like this prolific energy. So if you're doing something creative or if you're doing something in terms of business or products or services, you may have this abundance of uh, ideas and uh, products and uh, services and things that you're coming up with that you're putting out there. You might be coming into like this very prolific period of like what you're producing, what you're putting out there. And it's going noticed. You're being noticed and it's elevating you. It's bringing you to a higher level of success, a higher level of abundance. So it can be creating in that way as well, artistically, creatively, um, something that you're putting out in terms of business. Empress can sometimes be an entrepreneur card for me as well, right? And it's respect. It's the divine feminine, okay? So being in divine feminine energy, attracting divine feminine energy. Um, this can also be a, a mother figure or a grandmother who has passed on or <clears throat> relatives from the mother or maternal side of your family, coming in with guidance through dreams, through intuition, uh, coming in and guiding you through the changes that are coming up. Now, your next card, Capricorn, is the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is reciprocal energy. So sometimes we see uh, the progress happen 
energetically before we see it happen financially. Pentacles tend to represent money, but they also are energy spent. A pentacle is a symbol of energy and money is a symbol of energy in the physical world, right? You go to your job and you give your boss 40 hours of your time and energy every week and they measure that into dollars or whatever the, the monetary thing is in your country, right? That gets transitioned into some unit per hour, right? Like per hour, it, it's this many units. It's it's this many, you know, dollars or, or whatever, right? So money is supposed to represent energy. People don't realize that, but it's supposed to represent time and energy. So sometimes before the money comes in, we'll see it energetically. And six of pentacles is being in the flow of giving and receiving, right? You're giving and you're receiving. There, there's this flow. It can indicate here that you're coming into a time of generosity. So generosity, um, uh, you know, people may be uh, giving you some kind of uh, payment for your hard work or something to express gratitude. Uh, it can be money coming in that's surprising you. You weren't expecting it to come in, but some kind of generosity. It can be people being more fair and more balanced with you, right? Maybe there's been people that they just want to call you because they want to talk about their issues or what's going on with them. And, um, and then after they've vented and after they've gotten what they needed, they're like, okay, I'll talk to you later, Capricorn. And you're like, well, wait a minute. What about me? <laughs> you know, like I had things I wanted to talk about. I had things I needed help with. And so now you're, you're attracting into your life situations, partnerships, friendships, relationships, where this person is, is also contributing, Right. They're, they're contributing to their li your life. They're not just taking. Uh, and this can also be the fi um, ideal financial situation. So Six of Pentacles is going to be like you have your debts are paid off. There's no more debts. Uh, you have money coming in for the, you know, for just money coming in. And you already have a savings. You continue to put money into the savings with the money that's coming in. Uh, but you also have money to spend to enjoy life, to do the things you want to do, and to give to other people when you feel moved to do so. Like you're wanting to help a cause or you're feeling generous, you're able to do, uh, you know, charitable things or uh, make donations or help different causes or people when you feel moved to do so. So this is really positive, right? This would indicate here that there's going to be clearing of financial blocks, right? Um, and there's going to be also this thing of receiving, because if you think about it, the Empress card is that divine feminine energy and feminine energy is about receiving. Okay. It's about receiving. Uh, so this applies to you, even if you are the machoist man ever to walk this earth, we all have feminine and masculine energy. It's not about seeming like a girl or seeming like a guy. We all have feminine and masculine energy. And so we need to have the feminine energy within us balanced to receive. And so for a lot of you, that's where you were blocked. Maybe you felt ashamed of your feminine energy and you saw it as a weakness. So you tried to push it down and seem you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm tough or I'm cool or I'm badass or, um, I'm, I'm this or I'm that, right? We maybe kind of moved away from our feminine energy or we try to repress it, whether you're male or female, women do it too, right? Cause women sometimes don't want to be seen as vulnerable or weak, right? So it's like, they gotta, they, they gotta put on that masculine energy. And so we can't receive if, if we're stifling are, or hiding or repressing our feminine energy. She is feminine energy here. She is like feminine energy to the highest degree, but also very powerful feminine energy because you don't want to mess with the empress. You really don't want to mess with the empress, right? But she is very loving, uh, very uh, creative, uh, very uh, magical, but you still don't want to mess with her, even though there's this kindness about her. So, this is what 
you're balancing and it's opening you up to receive financially. Okay, you may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those might resonate for you more than your sun sign or when you watch your moon sign and rising sign, it gives a little bit more personalized messages for you because of your specific placements. Love and romance readings for October are listed in the description of the reading. If you want to go back and watch the October love readings, November love readings will be up soon. If you would like a private reading with me, you can uh, schedule at calendly.com slash amethystangelite. Um, people have also been messaging me and asking me about sending tips or donations for the videos or sending something for my birthday. I appreciate it, guys. You guys are so sweet. You don't have to, but if you feel like you want to do that, it's just my email address uh, through PayPal, and that's amethystangelite at gmail.com. I'll have that linked in the description as well. Uh, but I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. November love readings will be up soon. And I'll see you guys in the next week's videos as well. Take care, Capricorn.